Hey folks, that fix it guy here. Today we're gonna to be fixing the shower back here behind me. The shower arm itself that connects to the shower head is a little bit wobbly from side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna put some stuff in there. I'll show you what I'm using to kind of just make that sturdy and then we'll come back in a little while and check it out. Here's the shower head that we're looking at. If you ever have this kind of issue, this is what you'll be looking at. You just if you go like this, you can see that we get a little side to side. It's not really that much. Everything else is sitting pretty good. There's no movement there. There's a little movement there. We're gonna end up caulking that. But this right here is my main focus at the moment. So we're gonna pop this off and you see there's a little cavity in there. It's not a lot of play, but it's a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put, we're gonna fill that cavity up. So for this job, you're just gonna end up using, I just use a pair of rubber gloves and some of this JB Weld water weld. It's just an epoxy putty. So just cut a chunk of this off. We're gonna stick it right around that pipe and fill up that little crevice up there. And this is gonna hook us right up. I love jobs where it really is just one little thing to, to give a good quality fix. As you can see, a pair of gloves and that a little epoxy putty, good to roll. Okay, so just get our gloves on. Pump this out. Part of the top of that came off of there. That's all right. We'll get that off of there. A little crusty off the outer edge. So then we're just gonna take a piece of this. It's not gonna be too much. Maybe about, a, if you split it into thirds, maybe just about a third and just break it off. And then I'll just take this and Wrap it, pack it back up, stick it back in our case. Save it for another time. So just get this mixed up. Okay, so it all pretty much looks like it's one now. At this point, it's all kind of turned into a white putty, as you can see. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it, before it really starts sticking to stuff, we're just gonna kind of shape it to where it'll go right around the hole. And then take off one of my gloves so I can hold the camera. And we're gonna get right up in here, like so. And we're just gonna feed that right around and just put it right in the hole. Okay, come around this other side. And we'll just try to get it jammed in there as best we can. Hope that's not too shaky. I'm trying to just hold it the best I can. Okay, Okay. so we'll come back and check this in just a few minutes. We're gonna let it dry. All right, so we've came back to this. It is, everything is dry now and you can't move that really at all. It's, uh, it's in there pretty good. So, I mean, I just packed this all around. This is hard to the touch, can't move it at all. So we just go ahead and just slide that cover back on over that and it's good to roll. Uh, well, we got that shower arm all puttied up, it's good to go. There should be no more complaint about the movement on that thing. We packed that epoxy putty in there and once that hardened, that whole thing ain't going nowhere. Covers back up easy, not even see it, don't even notice. I hope this video helps somebody and you know, gives you some ideas. That's not the only thing that putty can be used for. I use it from time to time, not all the time, but it works most of the time. All right. Please subscribe to our channel, click the like button, greatly appreciate everything that you do. And remember, you can fix anything. If I can do it, you can do it. Thank you.